let it loose. Okay, so we're going to talk about sexual transmutation. This has been coming up a lot lately. Um, in all different facets of my life, people have just been talking about it a lot. And yesterday I heard a story about somebody who was so distracted by a guy that she was into that she accidentally sprayed hairspray underneath her armpits thinking it was deodorant. This is so common. We get attracted to people and it takes all of our focus, all of our attention, like a vacuum. Just goes straight to that sexual energy that you have for that person. Um, but let's not forget, we're sexual beings. There is so much vibrancy and potency and life inside of sexual energy, and it courses all through our beings. So we can use that to fuel other projects in our world. We can actually take our sexual energy that is so inherently just a part of us as beings and use it to put it somewhere else in our worlds to create a project, to create what we want to manifest in our lives. It's energy that's ours to use and mold and mutate. So the word transmutation is about mutating. And what it is basically is like the ancient form of alchemy, the ancient practice of alchemy, was taking one thing, adding it to another to make something new. So with that concept, which is transmutation, you would want to take the sexual energy that you feel that actually is located down deep in what is known as your root chakra. Um, if you are into chakras at all, the sacral chakra is the center of your uh, security and your sexual intensity. And the root chakra is your primal baser area where the sexuality just sort of sits and marinates. I want you to think about a cave. I want you to really visualize a cave in the bottom of your belly, about four inches below your belly button. Whatever your cave looks like, I want you to get to know it. Mine has like stalagmites and stalactites and it's musky and earthy um, and warm. And if you can visualize that cave inside of you, that's really where your sexual energy sits and um, harbors itself and breathes itself and you can actually be in that and become aware of what your sexual energy feels like. It's an animal all its own and it plays by its own rules because we are very powerful sexual beings. Use it for your advantage. So here's what you want to do with transmutation, that idea that I just gave you about the take one thing, take another thing, make something new, A plus B equals C. Take the sexual energy that you get to know in that cave of yours and you can transfer it to a different part of your body in order to make that energy the fuel for another project you want to create in your life. Say that you have an email that you have to get out. Say that you have something that belongs on your boss's desk by five o'clock today. Say that you wanna write a book. Say you wanna run a marathon. Say that you actually wanna build a business you know, an empire. Well, here you are. Take that sexual energy that is yours to manifest and mold and make what you want out of it. And with your attention, bring that sexual energy. You're going to push it up into your core. Your core is in your stomach area. If you're into chakras, again, it's called solar plexus. If you go to the gym and you work out, you know that that's called core because you can feel that that core um, stabilizes you so you can strengthen other areas of your body. Well, it's the same spiritually, it's the same energetically. Take the energy that you find in your cave, in your sexual um, essence in your body, and you can push it with your attention up into your core and create an intention, which is, with this energy, I want to fuel my desire to start my book today. With this energy, I want to fuel um, getting my focus directed in finishing this application to get out by five o'clock. You know, I want to fuel this desire that I have to create an empire, a business that I want to run uh, and be my own boss. Your intention is key here to meet your attention in this energy shift. Energy flows where attention goes. And I've said this in other videos, 
This is absolutely a, a part of life that all of us have to become aware of as ourselves. We are incredibly powerful, but all of our focus goes everywhere. All of our energy is going dispersed in all these different directions. If we can just hone in for a moment in time through our breath, through our breathing, to just center yourself in one area, and my God, what a great area to center on, the sexual energy that you have marinating in itself, in your cave. Take that one area and that focus that you have in that and bring your attention and intention to it to manifest what you want. This is at the core of what transmutation is and to understand the animal that is the sexual energy running through you, that combination can be stellar for you. So last thing I want you to know is about energy coursing through our bodies, it literally goes like a figure eight. It's coming up around your heart and down around your belly. Up around your heart, down around your belly. I want you to kind of imagine like a river flowing that actually gets moved fluidly, constantly by your breath. Energy never dies, it just changes form. So if it's constantly flowing in our bodies like this, bring your attention to it down here in your cave this gorgeous, amazing sexual energy that we have. Take your attention and move it, mold it, push it through different parts of your body. And if you want that project to be created, take it to your core, you know, here, right here at the base of your infinity symbol inside of your body. Take it there with your attention and put the intention into it. I wanna create this today because my God, what gorgeous fuel that sexual energy brings with it. And especially when you focus so centeredly on one area. So that's just a little tidbit for you on the sexual transmutation, far more in depth that we can go into at another point. Just to start off with, tell me what you guys thought about this video today. And if it's something that you feel you've actually done in your life already without realizing it was transmutation. Maybe you were so focused on this person, you couldn't get them off your head and you took that energy and really just put it into some other area that you wanted to focus on. We, we do a lot of these things without realizing it. Um, and we're much more aware energetically than we give ourselves credit for. I've just given it a name today. So go find your cave and write down in the comments below what yours looks like. I'd love to hear about it. And if you liked this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel.